What's up everybody? Welcome back for another beer review and for today's review I'm going to be returning to the Tatamagouche Brewing Company out of Tatamagouche, Nova Scotia, Canada and I'm going to be reviewing their Jitney. So as you can see, this is a, a dry hopped sour, and I'm going to let you guys see the back of this because I got a little spiel going on if you want to read it, but it's a dry hop sour, comes in at 4.5% alcohol by volume, could not find that I've used, not listed anywhere, and as you can see, baby, paired with some cheeses, baby, but not stinking cheeses, so I don't know what's going on. And yeah, so <clears throat> this beer was sent to me by a friend of mine and a former beer tuber, that being Lee Russell of the now defunct Hoagley's Beer Reviews. Lee doesn't do beer reviews anymore. Most of his focus is on his movie podcast called They Must Be Destroyed On Site. So if you guys want to check out Lee's YouTube channel or his podcast, I will post a link in the description box to both of those uh, sites and then in addition to that I'm also going to post the link to the beer mail unboxing video I did of the beer mail that Lee sent my way. This is actually Probably I'm trying to think here I think this is the last beer that I'm going to be reviewing normally the other two are probably going to be live reviews So yeah, I do appreciate it, Lee. Thank you very much um, The freshness of this beer is a bit in question because it doesn't have a uh, date on the bottom of the can. When Lee sent the beer mail my way, I believe he said this was under two months old. I've sat on the beer mail for about a month or so. Uh, real life got in the way, so couldn't get to it earlier. At the absolute max, this is three months old, but it might be quite a bit fresher. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So anyway, yeah, dry hop sour. Uh, sour IPAs nowadays, dry hop sours, they have become quite popular in the last year or so. People are really digging them. And this one just so happens to be dry hopped with El Dorado and they're using a, uh, and then they're fermenting it with a, with uh, the foggy uh, London yeast, which I know a lot of brewers have used for New England, uh, New England style IPAs. So yeah, anyway, uh, I am excited to get into this one, mostly because the first beer I had from Tatamagouche, which was their uh, Deception Bay IPA was pretty good. It was a, it was a nice, easy drinking uh, beer, and I, I dug it. And it's cool to see another organic brewery just in the world, period. Uh, I think they do only organic beers. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get a pour on this one and see what we got going on. Oh, that has some lively combination, as you can see. So, going to let that go a little bit. It looks like it's going to be kind of done at some point here, though, right? Um... We'll see. But yeah, that's actually pouring out kind of like a New England style IPA. It has a murky, uh, turbid look to it. Now this, again, on camera might be a bit dull, but this is quite bright as well. Yeah, it has this nice orangey yellow glow to it. It does, let me pour it actually a little bit more into there. Give it a little swirl, baby. A little swirl. Get some more in here. Yeah, it has, oh, the chunks in there. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Not really, we're good. But yeah, it has this nice orangey yellow glow to it. Definitely turbid. Look at that head, very soapy looking head. Like it, it's rocky all over the place. Probably gonna dissipate and be a thin film at some point. But yeah, it looks like so many dry hop sours nowadays and uh, I wouldn't expect anything less. Let's get a nose on it. Yeah, very nice. Prominent melon and with Eldorado, I usually get like honeydew or watermelon sometimes, which is a rarity in this day and age for, uh, you know, aroma descriptors is watermelon. But yeah, I'm getting a little bit of watermelon. Big, big, big stone fruit vibes. Uh, juicy peach, apricot mostly, bit of mango. But it has this nice tart acidic nose to it. Like I can t definitely tell I'm about to drink a sour. An ever so slight... Like crackery malt in here. O almost like a weedy sensation as well. Wheat. Wheat, as Guy from over at Drinking in Canada would say. Wheat. Yeah, it smells, the best way to describe it, and it's very simple, very simplistic, and it might sound stupid, but it smells refreshing. It smells like an appropriate beer uh, for the current season. Yeah, anyway, not much more to say. I want to get into it, so cheers, everybody, and thanks again, Lee. That's very nice. It's it's relatively tart too. 
Yeah, right up front, you know it's a tart beer. You know it's a sour beer. It has a, 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 a nice tartness, not overly sour. As it transitions through the palate, those stone fruits come to the forefront. A lot of peach, a lot of apricot, even a bit of citrus notes like tangerine and orange. There isn't a huge tropical vibe. This is all about the citrus. Um, even a lemon-lime thing going on, too, not right now, which is nice. 4.5%. Uh, so you're expecting a thin body, and they deliver. It's, I'd say this. Let me go back one more time. Yeah, this is like straight-up light body. Maybe a bit bigger of a body you would get from like just your normal like American adjunct lager. Uh, maybe higher side of light body. The mouthfeel, very effervescent, uh, you know, super crisp, spritzy on the tongue. Um, it does have a lingering tartness. Yeah, it has a lingering tartness, so it's not really clean, but super refreshing. Yeah, this is, wow, I'm actually quite surprised at how, I, I should say surprised, but they did a really good job with this one. Uh, despite the age, which could be, you know, anywhere from uh, a month and a half to three months, uh, this is actually drinking very nicely. Like I said, I don't, oh, is there maybe here? They have a lot on here, but that lot means nothing to me. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know, uh, ready to rate it because there's not much more going on. What's here is quite tasty. So I'm going to give the Jitney from the Tatamagoosh Brewing Company out of... Tetamagoosh, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm going to give that a solid, uh, I'm going to give that four out of five. I'm really digging this one. I'm definitely going to finish this one up at 4.5%. This would be another, I've mentioned this quite a few times over the last few weeks uh, in terms of like, this would be perfect for like poolside or a barbecue or whatever it would be. Not going to repeat myself more than that. It just would be. So thanks again, Lee. I truly appreciate you hooking me up with a couple beers from an organic brewery uh, in your province. Uh, it's been a lot of fun reviewing all these beers. Um, be on the lookout for a couple live reviews to finish off Lee's box over the next uh, probably month or so. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, feel free. Hit that notification bell if you want to be updated. And until the next one, cheers.